G'day everybody, this is Kiwi GI Customs and Collection and today I'm going to look at repairing uh, this lift ticket uh, action figure Now lift ticket was the pilot for the um, Tomahawk helicopter and uh, looks like his T-hook has snapped off and he's got a lot of paint wear so first thing I'm going to do is basically pull them apart by using this Phillips screwdriver and see if we can uh, Get a new T hook. Okay. Pull those things aside and a screw. So, yeah, I've got myself a spare T hook here. Okay, let's unscrew this leg here. One half the broken T hawk. I apologise you can hear the uh, traffic outside my house. Okay, this could be a bit tricky because someone's actually glued this leg together. So give me a minute, people. Okay, so I've got myself a craft knife. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was a lot better than I expected. Yeah, that was a bonus. So as you can see, there's a broken T-hook. It's very rare they snap. But it's basically puck, puck root. So you get the T-hook, insert that. So there's my best guess. Yeah, there's some glue in there. I should actually thank the person who did this because that wasn't me. Wow, I do not want to snap this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that then. Because it should slide quite easily. I might see if I can try and Alright, sorry about noise people. <laughs> Isn't that much? I know what you think. Christ's sakes, get a bigger knife. The last thing I need to do is cut my fingers off. Okay, after a bit of cutting, I have finally got the hit T Hawk on. that screw back on the 
it's a little bit tighter, not too tight. You don't want to. Yep, that's pretty good. And the other part. Excellent. One T hook back on. Yeah, it looks like it's got a bit of a split there, but it's not going to fall apart. All right, excellent. Okay, so why is it apart? We should look at touching up the paint on him. And what I'll do here, rejoin the torso and arms, back together. So it looks like it's just the black and the silver to do on that, the silver wings. That's looking pretty good, I don't need to touch that at all. Obviously it's the face and the back of his helmet. And for the legs, well it's just the boots, from what I can see. Alright, let's get into it. Right, so here's the paints that I'm using. It's the uh, Tamiya Tamiya acrylic acrylic paint semi gloss X18. This is standard uh, Tamiya color X7. Once again, acrylic um, X11 chrome silver. And for the flesh tone, I've used a combination of the flat flesh and white to make my own fleshy colour. Alright, so pull these others aside. And I've also got my paint brushes as black, flesh and red. And this is a missing alias brush, which is quite a tiny one. Great for doing like little details. Right, I think the first thing I'll do is I'll paint his arms. Or I should say his, his gloves. Just want to say a quick note that um, I've been collecting G.I. Joe's. Oh, Ever since I was a kid, I remember the first Giro figure I've ever got uh, was, from my, was from my parents. I think I would have been about six or seven at the time. It was during Christmas. I got short fuse. My older brother got flash. And my younger brother got sap. And we played for that for ages. Literally ages. Okay. So yeah. I went off collecting when I became a teenager. Um, 
I never sold them or got rid of them. I just basically put them in the boxes. And then it wasn't until like when I started working, I made a fellow work mate, or I've made a work mate who was a collector of all things. And I told him what I was collecting and where they were. And he says, uh, I should bring them out and display them. So, which is what I have. And quite proudly so. Let's put that in there for a while. I'll just use, um, when I use the cleaners, I use a uh, Miflat Spirits for the brushes. I believe that's the best way of cleaning them. Let's close this. I'll use that later for the boots. For this moment, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be working on the uh, gloves, or the arms, and the torso. Okay, so this is chrome silver. I'm going to look at doing the wings. I don't actually know if the wings have been painted. Yes, they are. I do see a little bit of silver. Ever so gently. There you go, I'm happy with that. All right, put that aside. Give that a quick clean. You can hear my neighbour's dog. I do apologise, people. Okay, so I've got an ID here. So I've got this clip here. Now, I don't think this red is exactly perfect. Now it's a little bit darker. What I need to do is add a bit of, a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Now I've got this miscellaneous brush. So. Give me a quick stir. That doesn't fit in. Yeah, this is not exactly perfect, but I'll go for the whole helmet. This probably requires a couple of coats.
right, I'll put a little bit. First coat dry soon. Bloody dogs. Right, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now that's dry. Right, I might work on these legs. Well, actually, the boots. That's applying the paint where I need it. Right. Okay, so I'm at the stage where I'm going to paint the face, but I'm going to join the figure for, uh, together first. Um, of course, using the O-ring, o -ring, the new T-Hawk. Yeah, so what I've discovered is that the T-Hawk was broken. Yeah, someone decided to do glue the broken leg to the crutch piece and lift the o-ring part of the leg together. Right, now it's time to paint the face. Once again, I'm using this fresh color. So I've used the Flat Flesh X15 and white, and it comes up a nice flesh tone. Lines paint on. You see, the tip has definitely been for the walls.
this memory will take a couple of coats. So I'll leave it at that. That'll be the first coat. Looks like a dog's breakfast at the moment. I'll paint that silver part on his goggles. Once again, I'm using chrome silver. There's a touch up in the goggles where the red paint's gone. I find that lift tickets uh, head sculpt is quite unique. Um, I think it would have been better off if, uh, if the helmet was removed, but yeah, it's um, not the ugliest, but it's not the prettiest either. And he's got that sort of smirk, smirk smile on his face, which I can never understand why he's got that. That's not too bad. Yep, just wait for that fresh tone to uh, dry out to apply the second coat. Okay, now I'm gonna, now the paint's uh, on his face is dried now, I'm gonna attempt to paint the eyebrows and eyes. Once again, using black. And this time I'm going to use a fun tap with very little paint on it. It just takes a lot of patience and time.
thing I've done with the black. But I've gone over, sorry, there's my hands. <laughs> uh, I think I've gone over too much of his eyebrows. So I need to touch that up. Should get that paintbrush out of the way. Not paintbrush. Doing these eyes are so tricky. Okay, so I'm going to put the uh, smirky smile on his face, which sort of shows a bit of his teeth. Yep, I think that's good. Now, what's next is us uh, making a microphone. So, what I decided to use here is a bit of wire like this. Put a bit of glue gun. There, wait for it to cool down. Yep, so that's all right. I'll just get the microphone. Just double check. Yep, about there. So, what I basically am using is just a bit of plastic that's um. I sort of keep plastic for everything actually. Plastic, you can use paper clip. Hell, you can just use about anything that will just do the job. This one trims a bit. So I can get inside that hole. A little bit more. Actually, I'll be better off using this here. It's not too bad. Okay, now we have some super glue. Yeah, I think it looks good. So that's old uh, left ticket, fully assembled with a brand new T-Hawk um, paint job. And here's left ticket, staying in front of the um, Tomahawk. Well, actually this is the modern version, the Eagle Hawk, but 
I put the tomahawk. We just move him aside. And he fits in there. Quite nicely. Yep, so that was a quite a good project. I didn't really expect that that the T-bar was broken. I thought it would be a simple paint job until I actually started taking the figure apart and realised that the T-bar was broken. So with that, people, uh, it's time for me to have a break, have a cup of coffee. Um, so like, share, and subscribe. And uh, also, guys, I've also started a Facebook um, page. So, hey, look me up.